Hi, this is Crystal Chappelle. And this is Michael Sabatino. And if you have a question for either of us... Or both of us... Then you give us a call because we're going to be taking your calls. Next, live on Pure Soap. Pure Soap. Time today. Hello once again, I'm Shelley Taylor Morgan and welcome to the living room of Pure Soap. It's E's half hour live show that takes an inside look at all the soaps. And as always with me is Mr. Soap, TV Guide's Michael Logan. Hey Logan, what's up? Well, those phone lines are burning up today. Your lovely Rita, who's our associate producer, she's the one that uh, handles the phone lines every day and they are uh, jam-packed with calls for Michael and Crystal. Our guests, Michael Sabatino and Crystal Chappelle, let's take a look at their farewell performance on Days of Our Lives. Are you sure about this? My place is with Nikki. I'm with you. You're not just doing this to be with your son? I want to be with you, Lawrence. I love you. And my home is right here with you and Nikki. <laughs> Was that it? Oh. <laughs> oh my. Welcome, you guys. Oh, Thank you. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. What a pleasure. Thanks. Oh, it's great to you. You know, as a, as a fan of good acting, I was devastated <laughs> when I uh, heard that you guys were uh, leaving the show. Yeah. And uh, for those who uh, don't know the circumstances, very quickly, um, it was a big surprise that Mr. Sabatino was uh, told he was, his services would no longer be required. <laughs> right. Um, Slightly less of a surprise in your case because right. you had gone to the writers, expressed uh, deep disappointment in the character and where it was going, and uh, yeah. they uh, had no uh, wonderful plans lined up for the character, yeah. so it uh, was somewhat of a mutual decision. But do you still consider yourself canned? I, I, I would, I would have loved to have continued. It was it just wasn't in the cards, you know. Mm -hmm. I just they wanted to move on, and I needed to move on, and mm -hmm. so yeah, it was a mutual decision. Now, I think she should be in the movies. I know you but do, I'm and I... But I'm deeply I'm afraid she's going absolutely. to go on another soap opera. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying put for now. I'm Are having you? fun. I'm, mm. I'm relaxing and auditioning for other things. Mm. I'm good where I am. But you what like the ABC do? soaps, right? I love them, yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. You were an ABC so, soap fan, right? Since I was 16. I love them. Yeah. All my children and one life to live. That's my, one of my favorites, yeah. You know, Erica, who doesn't love Erica? The sweetest revenge is this guy gets a job immediately on the co on the competition. <laughs> I think you're the, the only guy who has been on two soaps at the same time. Yeah. Now, how did, that, how did that work so quickly? Suddenly you had a job before you... We, no, nobody even had time to breathe there. How did that happen? I have no idea. I, uh, the phone rang, and they said, you should know that uh, we're talking with uh, Bell Phillips Productions, and things are uh, moving. And I said, <laughs> oh, okay, well, you know, that what a yeah. place to work, and... Uh, then the phone rang again, and that did was you, it. Did it you was... test, or did you just get this job? I tested, on... yes. I yeah. went down and, and read with uh, Hunter Tylo and Bobby Eakes. She's so ugly, isn't she? It's just a shame <laughs> it that was really hard. Have, to yeah. have plastic surgery. Well, they did the bag <laughs> over their head so I could get through the test, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, they just said, let's put you on and see what happens, and we'll get some ideas about what to do. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Everybody tuned in to see you buried alive. Yeah, <laughs> everybody. The rating <laughs> through the roof, through yeah, the roof. Yeah. What does this tell you about the audience? Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, the, 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 the idea of being buried alive scares the heck out of them, you know? Yeah, I mean, that, it scared me to be lying in that mm -hmm. coffin, and I'm very much alive. I think that's the stuff yeah. of recurring nightmares, because yeah. I've had a few of those in my lifetime where you're scratching to get out. Ooh, oh. creepy. Yeah, and I, you know, it's, it, it, Carly was a, a, a lady that they liked to uh, cheer for, and God, they really put her in the, the bottom of the... Uh, <laughs> you know, the barrel, just yeah. fighting for her life, so. Was that hard for you to be in this coffin-type structure for, I guess, well, not hours on end, but minutes on end? What was that like? Yeah, it was strange to be lying in a coffin and, and to, to have to stop my breathing so that they could take certain shots of me. Oh. The whole idea was a little spooky, but... What did, you, did you do something like, almost like hypnosis to kind of like sew your body down so that you could do try that? Try to relax, you know? Yeah. <laughs> just try to relax. Very creepy. I want to talk about your reputation okay. for being difficult. Go ahead. Actresses all the way back to Katherine Hepburn and Betty Davis all the way up to today, Jodie Foster, the best actresses, the yeah. ones that are committed to their work and their scripts and demand the best, um, are labeled difficult. And um, so have you been. 
I don't think I'm difficult. And I think that's a very good thing, by the way. I, I, I don't think I'm difficult. I think that I ask, I ask really good questions because I care. Yeah. I ask questions because I want to do the best work I can for whomever I'm working for. Yeah. Um, I don't scream, I don't rant, I don't rave. I don't judge other people's work or decisions. I'm totally open to play, but I will ask questions. Yeah. And Is I, that considered a threat? I, I think that um, my experience on days has been that uh, it's been kind of chaotic. We did go through seven head writers, and it, it's mm. no excuse, mm. no blame. It's simply that it was that chaotic. There wasn't really anyone leading. And um, so as actors, we were out there on stage just winging it mm -hmm. every single day. And it's Winging it. We could relate to this. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. There's a certain level of stress yeah. going into soaps anyway. But when you have to wing it, mm -hmm. and you don't know what the story is, and it's going to change, um, yeah, I, I'm one to ask questions. I'm not the quiet It's type. your face out. Speaking of questions, we got some from the uh, fans out there. Hello? Hello? Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Deborah. Hi, Deborah. What's Deborah. your question? Uh, yes, first, uh, you two are the most, two of the most beautiful people on soap for us. Uh, yeah. And um, I wanted to ask... <laughs> <laughs> dinner. Yeah, <laughs> um, I wanted to ask Michael if he knows if the new character he's playing on Bold and the Beautiful is going to be as big a scoundrel as Lawrence was. <laughs> that would be so great. We're hoping. <laughs> no. they, they promised me that I wouldn't be raping and pillaging. <laughs> so if that's any less of a, uh, a fun guy, maybe it'll oh. let me play longer. I hope to play a long time with him. Still the same suave, um, sexy, Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. he'll be kind of, he'll be controversial. Good. As you maybe saw, I've already stolen a kiss off a of passed out. You crazy <laughs> woman. We have another call. Who's there? Hi, this is Mary from Utica, Michigan. Hi. Hi. I like to say thou Miss Carly and Lawrence from Days of Our Lives. Thank you. Thank you. And Michael, good luck on Bold and Beautiful. Thank you. And Crystal, what will you be doing in the near future? And also, will you be getting married soon? Oh, In real life. oh, well. Now um, you're on the spot. I'm planning to go to unemployment on Friday. <laughs> and then um, I, I'm really just uh, relaxing and taking some time off and uh, auditioning. So hopefully I'll be, I'll be working again yeah. very soon. Thanks, Mary. And as far as marriage, um, gee, I'd have to be asked. Wow. <laughs> We, okay, now we I can know. have a pure soap first. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got more uh, more calls later on for uh, Michael Sabatino and Crystal Chappelle. Hi, hi. Now, before we go on, I want to say something to you, Crystal. You look like a very famous actress, and we have a little snippet of you on Days that I want to show, if we can roll that. Now, look at that. Now, who does this look like? It kind of looks like, let's see the still. Now, here comes <laughs> Greta Garbo. I mean, you're <laughs> Queen Christina. Wow. That's when, when I saw that, I wrote notes, because oh, I write notes when I'm watching the soaps, yeah. and I saw that, and I said, look what she looks like. Oh, so wow. I wanted to compliment you. Well, thank you. Well, we got phone calls, so let's go to that. Greta Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> Greta Chappelle. <laughs> Who's our first caller? Hi, this is Barbara from Indiana. Hi, Barbara. Hi, What's hi, your Barbara. question? Hi, Michael. Hi, Crystal. Hi. Uh, my question is for Crystal. I know that when you started out, you were with uh, Peter Reckle, uh -huh. and then the no new bow came along, and I think he does a great job, but uh -huh. I was just wondering what you thought about the two guys. Well, I, I think I was very lucky. They're both really fine actors. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know. It, <laughs> I guess... What you want to know which one kisses better, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> That's usually the question. I can't answer that. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Yeah. Now, um, when, when you met on the soap, did you? Yeah. You? Yes. Uh -huh. So, well, of course we know who the better kisser was. Well, the yeah. one that won out. Yeah. <laughs> who's our next caller? Hi, who's the next caller? Hi, this is Jennifer hey, from Jennifer. Ohio. Hi. 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 I got a question for Crystal. Uh, what what work have you done in the past before your Days of Our Lives role? Because I think you're great. Good question. Oh, well, thank you. And um, if you, I hope I hope to see you in major movies. Me uh, too. <laughs> I think you would be great. No it. argument here. here. <laughs> um, I, I did a week on Santa Barbara and a day on All My Children. Oh wow! So I I've been in the soap genre. You just oh, jumped same. right in. Yeah, the only way I guess. You were schooled yeah. in in New York. Uh, in New York and out here as and well. Out here yeah. as well. Fantastic. Um, I wanted to ask now, I got to look at my little sheet because I had a question here. Do you guys have a problem or when you were working on days of living together and working together? Because you're together all day long. And now you've got to be going through withdrawal because you're not. What's all that about? 
Yeah. Well, the day's job was, it was a day and night job. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Days, we, we did 12 hour days over there, so uh, that was great because when you felt like you didn't have a life, you still had each other.